Hello guys, this is build volume number three on my Hypercube Evolution 445 with 3030 Extrusion, a kit that I got from Ziltec here in the USA. And if you're wondering why is it turned upside down, Jerry, well today I'm going to install the X and the Y axis. I'm going to cut away here to a close-up camera. I'll show you how I put everything together for the X and the Y, and then we'll get to installing. One thing I had to do since my last video is right here, right here, here, and here, I had internal L brackets, and I only had um, so many parts that came with the kit, so there's a few things I had to figure out, so I had to move them to the bottom, or which is actually to the top here. There's one here, 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 and here, and they have to be there, those internal L brackets, so I can attach my uh, Y axis. So I made a few changes, but as you anyone, and anyone knows that's building a hypercube, you can find other videos online, how people done things, you can download paperwork off Thingiverse, you can get different files here and there, pictures, but you got to kind of, a lot of it you got to figure out as you go and you got to make changes and adjustments to get everything right. So let me break away here to my close-up camera and we'll get started.
So let's start getting these put in place. Got to line up my uh, um, nuts here. I ordered me some cool little screwdrivers for doing this off of Amazon, but they're not going to be here for a couple more days. So, got my little nut driver here, but it's kind of sticky, you know, sometimes it sticks on me. These little wrenches are kind of a pain, but they work. It will definitely work. And I got to put my little bolt in, the internal L bracket. And when this goes through that, that L bracket that's inside the 30-30 extrusion, it'll tighten up on the frame to hold that frame in place. And when I mounted the motors, I got the wiring to the outside of the frame. So when I go to wire it up, I can hide it in the channel in the extrusion. Get this other side going. I wanted to get this video up sooner, like I was telling you guys in the last video, but I had some health issues going on, and I was unavailable. Got more doctor's appointments next week, so got a lot of things happening that need, need to be worked out. Alrighty, those are good to go. So now on to the next step. Alrighty, I've got the printer all flipped back over and it's time to install the x-axis. On the y-axis, one thing I wanted to mention is, let's see, where's my part here? The neural insert, which I didn't explain on the y-axis, going right here on this one side for each end, and there's one of these for each side. And another part. And here's an extra part that I had, and then a neural insert also goes right here on that. And I have another video where I heated them up and showed you guys that. 
And something I strongly recommend is that you go out and buy a kit of uh, these uh, stainless steel hex socket heads. These are much deeper than the button head screws. These button head screws are very shallow. They strip out very easy. So avoid these whenever possible. Always get these ones that are much deeper. They'll hold your Allen a lot better. And they're much deeper. They, strip, they don't strip out as easy. And if you do have an issue, usually you can grab that big head with pliers and back it back out if you do happen to strip it. That's just something I want to throw out there and let you know. Everybody might have their own opinion, but I don't like these button head screws at all. Always these deeper ones are much better whenever possible. And on the next carriage... I already have it pre-built. I'd like to show you what I did here. I've got neural inserts inserted here on the end. There's one, two, three, four. And then you can't see it, but there's one under there, five. One up here is six. Facing forward, we have the geared tooth pulley right here in front with a flag. End stop flag will be on the left side faced up. And on the back, we have the smooth pulley on the back. And as you can see on both sides, they're exactly opposite. This gear on the left is on the top. And on this side here, it is on the bottom. That way the pulleys don't, you know, run directly into each other. One's above the other. So, and it's looking pretty good. I had to make a couple minor adjustments. My lead screws here are very tall. So rather than go out in the garage and I chop them down a half inch or an inch, I figured I'll just, I've done a little bit of adjusting on the frame brought it down. They will clear. For now, they're okay. I don't want to go and pre-cut this and later it's like, oh no, I needed to, you know, this is wrong or that had to be readjusted and then I cut them too short. So, but they will clear. Go ahead and stick this in here. Got to get it centered on one bearing, slide it to the other, pull it straight. Then I can go, I'm good to go to put my end caps on. Which are right here. Always get them all started before you crank any one of the four all the way down. And if you crank one down all the way, then you make cause your threads to not line up straight, and then you can't get your other bolt started. Might have to put my glasses on here. Seems like as you get older, your sight gets worse and worse. So I got to go to the drugstore and the Walmart and buy a cheap pair of five to ten dollar reading glasses. Okay, that's snug. It's not all the way tight. That'll hold it. Get the other side going. And those little Allen wrenches that are supplied with the 3D printers and whatever it is, they're kind of a pain to spin. I went and got me these little uh, Allen wrenches off of Amazon that just came in the mail. I think it was today, yeah, this morning I got them. They're like little nut drivers, but they're Allen heads. I'm just jumping around from corner to corner, snugging it up. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not completely tight, but that's pretty good. And we have clearance. And we've got movement. Of course, there'll be many more adjustments I have to do. And as, as I build and go, it's a learning experience. Lots to do. On the two uh, Z motors here. Stepper motors, excuse me. Um, one, my pulley on the left side. 
The pulley is on the top. I'm leaving that loose. I'll have to adjust it when I put the belt on. The pulley on the right is turned upside down. So the Allens that tighten it up are on the top, and on this one they're on the bottom. So the pulleys are opposite uh, here and here. So, and once I get the belts on, like I say, I'll adjust that. So. Okay, the last thing to do here, I got uh, four uh, angle brackets here for the 2020 extrusion for the bed. Be to tighten those up. Well, hopefully by my next video, I'll have a couple hats I ordered from China off Amazon. I'll say 3 HP on. Ordered a black one and a dark blue one. We'll see how they come out. My Teespring supplier for my shirt and coffee cup. Don't, I'm not, for some reason, I can't have hat, hats yet. I guess you got to sell so much stuff or have a certain rating or something like that. Anyway, that looks good. So I'd like to thank everyone who's stopping by. Please like and subscribe. Uh, so you'll be notified when I put out another video or do a live stream. And uh, I guess that's a wrap. Thanks, everybody. Happy printing.